hello and welcome it's Jilly Q I'm here in Queensland and I'm gonna do an acrylic pour today I'm going back to a split pour on this um, nice 60 by 30 canvas I've put the uh, masking tape on the back and my giant push pins so they hold it up off the um, you set off the table surface so nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy so I'm going to split this canvas and do it into two colors so I am going to go go for gold um, well I'm not actually going for gold I'm using this gorgeous baby pink I don't know what you kind of pink you'd call it I actually made it up myself out of white and just added a little bit of this fluoro pink to it so it is deliciosa so I'm going to um, split the canvas doesn't have to be um, dead equal I'm not one for um, things all symmetrical and I like uh, a bit of what do they call it when you're not actually yeah I, I don't like yeah like things central and I'm an odd one I like the odd things like the I like the odd people in life too <laughs> that's why I married my husband <laughs> he's not here to hear that but he would agree with that he would agree I think I think so we're gonna go the pink pinky pink so I'm just giving it um, using my soft uh, spongy brush thing you could use a spatula you could use anything you choose but I'm going to use that today so I might just this paint is a little bit thick so um, we will see I need to water the rest of it down maybe 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 okay now what do you think I should go the very dark burnt umber that's got some black added or a cafe latte oh it's difficult I think I'll go the latte because then I might use the burnt umber um, to make it pop in my other things so this was again just white that I added some of the burnt umber to and sent it down this uh, like latte cafe latte colour I'm actually going to use the same because it doesn't matter if it's got a bit of the pink in it it will all be um, perfectly fine this particular I suppose if I was using a, a black brush in my white it would be a problem but this one should be perfectly fine so that's the nice cafe latte colour Go. It's got that nice streaks of the pink through it, which I think looks quite nice. It'll probably disappear anyway when I do the rest of the techniques. Techniques. Bloody oh, very quiet sort of nondescript day here in Queensland today. It's not sunny. It's had a little bit of drizzle. It's a little bit kind of that depressing weather that makes you want to just curl up in front of the TV and watch movies type of weather Radio. I think I need to add a little bit of water to this to thin it down I think I might give it yeah I might give it a go let me see I'm gonna just Risk it for a Swiss kit. I'm wondering what just one colour blown out would look like in there, but I don't want to. No. I will add some white. And should I really make it pop? with a bit of the um, 
dark sea it's called it's like a very teal green so I think I might put a bit of that in there let's see doing something different with it I'm gonna go just for that I'm just gonna add some of this hot pink in just a pop here and there this is the fluoro pink So this will um, really put the thick paint, thick paint, does thick paint blow out to the test? Rightio. I have got a little bit there, metallic green, like a metallic emerald green. I'll put a bit of that in there too. This is going to be a definitely a test of the that's just had in the heat one just to um, blow some of the uh, get rid of some of the air bubbles. So let's give this a go, see how we go with it. Not blowing out real well. Oh, there we go. That is gorgeous colour. needs a little bit of put a bit of that green up into the brown wow there you go look at this oh I've got really lovely now you could very well leave it the uh, the vine effect but now I'm gonna add to my vine I'm gonna add my own version of the um, bloom in a vine that I've seen some of the ladies doing so as instead of blowing out a little bloom I'm going to use my trusty old Oh yeah, oh look at that. That would actually make a lovely other canvas. You can dip that directly on another canvas for sure. So this is my, ooh, vine. Bloom on a vine, but with a balloon on a vine. Oh, that went a bit AWOL up there. In a bit of a weird mood today, I think. Wow. Oh, that is gorgeous. The colours are actually really lovely. Remember, you don't have to do all the things I'm doing if you think, oh, she shouldn't have done this or she shouldn't have done that. You just, um, when you're doing your piece, you do it, remember, your way, your rules. Your rules, your way. Don't let anybody um, take your shine, steal your light. That is absolutely gorgeous. I would like to, oh, should I, should I? Why not? I like it, I do, I do, I do, let's see. 
I know that probably some might not like this in the negative space, but that's it. You do what your heart desires. That's why this particular technique is so perfect for rule breakers that don't need or want to do it conform to somebody's opinion of how they should do it. You do it your way. And I do like to add a little bit of wispiness to this. You don't have to do this either. It's exactly what I said before. If you choose to, you do it. And if you don't, you don't. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, so happy I put in that dark sea because that is gorgeous with those colours. And I think they're colours that I haven't done in a long time, adding a, that's a bit of a thick bit there. Rightio. I think I've finished, haven't I? I should walk away. I'll just add a bit of detail to this so it actually looks like a flower. I might get my teeny tiny balloon just to I want to put a bit of blue in there. Oh, that's so pretty. Actually, I think I need to do that pink with the dark sea because it looks so pretty together. The pink with the dark sea. And this little balloon with just my bit of water in, it's just adding a bit of detail. Like I said, you just follow what and how you want to do it and um, make it your own. You don't have to do it the same as mine or any other uh, YouTuber. You just go for it. Right here, that is beautiful. I just want, <laughs> keep saying it, I just want to put a bit of light in that, there, there you go, in that um, burnt umber, to, that's quite a, a thick bit of paint in there, so I'll just keep dipping it, kissing it, and it will bring the colour up underneath, look at that, perfect. So find if you've got any chunky bits of colour that you, you want to break up, then just kiss it. And it'll bring, like it's brought the pink up from underneath beautifully. That is super duper. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> oh, that should make a good Christmas gift. Who, who, who shall I give it to? To, to. Rightio. Beautiful. I'm going to bring you down and have a little look at that because it's real beaut, super duper. Oh, wow. Just look at this. This is so gorgeous. Who'd have thought those colours, hey? See, you've got to be in it to win it. You've got to try. Absolutely gorgeous. There's my little embellished ones out floating in the pink but that oh, camera's coming through. It's not showing the pink is a lot paler than it's looking in my camera. But look at the detail in there. So gorgeous. Oh, very nice. I'm happy. I'm happy, Jan. I'm happy with those like ghost, ghost cells. Wow. Happy with those colours. Really happy with that, Paul. Hope you enjoyed it, my lovelies. Please have a go at this one. Um, hop on to our Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. The link is down below in my drop-down box if you want to share your work. If you haven't joined and you want to join, you do have to answer the questions asked of you. Um, it's to stop spam and scammers getting in. So if you haven't answered the questions, you will not get, you will get declined. So please answer the questions. If you're happy to jump on and join our Australian acrylic pouring group and um, put your work, you know, show us all your work on there. 
So my lovelies, take care, have a go at this one. It is really super nice. They were all uh, Global Colours Australia. There's a link for the suppliers down below. Pretty sure they are available all over Australia now. So um, say bye for now, take care. Don't know what it is.